Scotty MD, CEO of Catalyst, how are you today? Um, the purpose of today's video is uh, for a friend of mine who wrote to me yesterday. Uh, she's recently returned to work after taking six years off to rear her two beautiful children. Um, and she's gone back to a great job. And for the first time ever, she's been put in charge of managing a team. And she's feeling uh, understandably nervous. This is her first time managing a team. She said the team are a little bit disorganized. And also she's feeling a little bit of lack of confidence after being out of the workplace for six years. Again, completely understandable. Uh, so I had to think about this. And today I'm going to share uh, actually 10 questions for you to ask your team especially if you are starting with a new company and needing to build relationships quite quickly. Uh, these questions I also use in interviews and they can be used if you're already working and just want to create rapport, better rapport and better relationships with other people around you in the office. Now, um, anyone who's out there who's uh, worked with me before, I'm sure you'll, you'll recognize these questions. I use them a lot because they... Uh, they are powerful questions. They help people open up to you. They also help people uh, trust you and build trust in the relationship. So I highly recommend them. Now, before you uh, answer, ask these questions of anybody, I just want to set up what your frame should be, sort of your frame of mind. And um, apologies, I'm just, I have lots of notes here, so I'm going to refer to them. Uh, one, you ask these questions with genuine curiosity. Uh, these questions are built to help someone open up to you to share about themselves to you um, and you should be curious about their answers, ask them questions, uh, really express genuine curiosity in what they're saying. Number two, be non-judgmental. No judgment at all, no matter what their answers are. Three, listen like your life depends on it and relate to listening. Don't take many notes. Um, if you're taking notes, you're not listening fully. Um, you may want to take some notes if there's absolute things that you don't want to forget. However, if you are going to take notes, let the other person know why you're taking the notes because it can really put people off if someone starts writing down something and you don't know what they're writing, you don't know if it's good or bad and it can affect rapport. So you may want to stay, say at the start of the meeting, look, I might jot down some notes while you're talking. This is just for me to be able to remember some of your comments so I can ask you questions um, or just keep the notes uh, for myself so I don't forget what you said. Yeah. Genuine curiosity, non-judgmental, listen like your life, life depends on it, and uh, very little, if not no notes. So question number one, tell me about yourself. A very open question, the biggest open question, just tell me about yourself. Um, and this gives a person the opportunity to say really whatever they want, whatever they're comfortable with, and you just sit and listen to it all. Um, if they're not opening up to you, you may get more specific at what do you like to do in your social time. Tell me about your family. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Do you have any kids? Um, another one, describe yourself in three words. How are, uh, tell me uh, how your best friend would describe you in three words, those sort of things. But most people will generally give you some sort of feedback on tell me about yourself. Number two, how would you describe your working style? Uh, this is a great one for them to be able to open up on how they prefer to work. Um, are, do they like to be micromanaged? Do they like to be left alone? Um, are they introvert or extrovert? Um, are they detail oriented or big picture? So tell me, how would you describe your working style? Number three, how would you like to be managed? A brilliant question, particularly if you're a new manager um, taking over a team. How would you like to be managed? This is a great question and I think a very respectful question to allow people to say how they would like to be managed. I know certainly I hate the big brother management style. It doesn't work well for me to have someone over my shoulder checking all the time. Although some people like that. Some people want to have their boss close to them that they can refer to all the time that they can ask questions. So it's really important that you understand what management style your team prefer so that you can incorporate that into your own style. Number four, what motivates you? Um, the, one of the key success factors of high performing teams is understanding what motivates your team, what gets them excited, what gets them jumping out of the bed in the morning, what gets them passionate about work, 
What do they really enjoy? You want your team to be motivated. And as a leader and manager, you need to understand what motivates your team because everyone is motivated by different things. So what motivates you? Five, how do you like to be recognized when you do a good job? Another great question because this nearly sets up as if I'm going to want to recognize you when you do a good job. If you're going to ask this question, make sure you follow up on it. If someone does a good job and they've told you how they want to be recognized, they're going to be looking for your follow up and for you to do that consistently. Um, the answers to this sort of question you may get, I'd like to be praised in front of my team. Some people like the public recognition. Um, it could be, I'd just like you to say thank you and, and a pat on the back is fine. Um, or I'd like to get a certificate or an award. You know, everyone is different, but it's really important to know how people like to be recognized because someone who likes public recognition, another person might find it totally embarrassing to be recognized in front of their peers. So understanding how people like to be rewarded and recognized. Um, number six, what does success at work look, sound, or feel like to you? What does success at work look, sound, or feel like to you? And this is another great exploratory question to, to help people articulate what success means. Because again, with these questions, you're going to get very different answers from different people because success, motivation, recognition, reward are all unique um, characteristics and there will be unique desires and requirements from everybody. So what does success at work look, sound like or feel like to you? Number seven, what do I need to know about you to ensure we have a great working relationship? That's a really positive question. It's a curious question. It shows interest in the other person. And again, it gives the other person permission to disclose information about themselves that they may feel you need to know in order to have a great relationship. So what do I need to know about you to ensure we have a great working relationship? Number eight, who's the best boss you've ever had in your career and why? And who's the worst boss you've ever had in your career and why? Great questions for them to help you help give you feedback because they're not talking about you and what they want. How they describe their best bosses pay attention to what they liked about those and the worst bosses pay attention to those answers too. And uh, number nine, if I have feedback for you in relation to your job, what's the best way for me to give you that feedback? Um, another brilliant question because you are going to, as a leader and a manager, you're going to have to give feedback to your staff. That's going to be construct constructive rather than negative feedback. But as you all know, if you've ever had feedback given to you before, it can be a little bit unsettling and unnerving. So this question is brilliant to be able to give a little bit of power to the other person for them to be able to control how that feedback is given. You know, and off, more often than not, people will just say, give it to me, tell me straight. And it's great to have that agreement. But if someone says, I prefer it's done in private, I prefer it's done in one-on-one -on -one, or it's written, great to understand how is the best way to give another person feedback? And last but not least, what would you like to know about me or do you have any questions about me? So giving them the opportunity to find out more about you and for you to be open to be able to share. So 10 brilliant questions. Use these questions without fail. You will create rapport with that person. You will learn more about them. When you listen intently, this is a great way for building respect for building trust and for, for, for building some high performance, successful relationships. Remember when you're asking these questions, do it with genuine curiosity, non-judgmental, listen like your life depends on it and don't take too many notes. Enjoy, try out the questions, let me know how it goes. Take care and talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <music>